Let's read multi-syllable words. A multi-syllable word is a longer word with more than one syllable. Like in the word computer, there are three syllables, com-pu-ter. If you haven't heard of the six types of syllables, check out links to those videos below. Otherwise, a lot of what we talk about might be confusing. When we recognize syllable types, we're able to read longer multi-syllable words. We are going to be following some steps to slowly solve these longer words. Step one is to find the vowels. Every syllable has a vowel, so first look for the vowels. Y is often a vowel if it's not at the beginning of a word. So in this example, we find all the vowels. Then step two is to look for prefixes. Prefixes are letters added to the beginning of a base word to change the meaning. This word has un at the beginning, which is a prefix. Step three is to look for suffixes. Suffixes are letters added to the end of a base word to change the meaning of a word. This word doesn't have a suffix, so we don't need to do anything there. Step four is to look for syllable types. To find the syllable types, we need to divide the syllables. So we find the consonants between vowels and divide after the first consonant. So between the R and the S. That makes dir the syllable right here that's an R controlled and then the stand syllable is closed because the A is closed in by other letters. Step five is then scoop and read each syllable. On, dir, stand, understand. Before we practice those steps some more, let's take a look at just a few helpful rules for dividing syllables. There are always exceptions, but this is most of the time. If there are two consonants between two vowels, we should divide them. So in the word dinner, there are two consonants, two ends. You divide between the two letters. Here, they happen to be double, but even if they weren't, you often divide between two consonants. Another helpful rule is if there's three consonants, usually you divide after the first one. So distract has three consonants, S, T, and R, and you often divide after the first consonant, unless you see two letters that belong together, like S and H. If there's only one consonant, you have to take time to decide if the first syllable vowel is long or short. Let me show you what I mean. In visit, we need the I to be short, so it's divided after the S to close in the syllable to make the vowel short. If you divided it after the I, it would be vi -zit. In donut, you divide it after the O to make the syllable open and the vowel long. If you divided it after the N, then you would have donut, but it's donut. One more rule is if you spot a consonant LE at the end, add the consonant to that syllable. In unstable, you know that B should be added with the LE at the end. Let's run through the five steps to solving multi-syllable words. Even if you happen to know the word right away, see if you can do each step to practice for when you come to words you don't yet know. Here we go. First, find the vowels. Next, look for prefixes and suffixes. Hmm, there aren't any in this word. Fourth, look for syllable types. Here, we have to decide where to divide the word because there's only one consonant. If we divide after the L, then the first syllable is sil. Sil and, hmm, that doesn't make sense. Let's divide after the I, so it says psi. Then we'll have an open syllable for psi and a closed syllable for lent. Lastly, we scoop the syllables together. Psi, lent, silent. Let's try a longer one. First, find the vowels. Then look for prefixes. This word has a prefix, dis. Third, look for suffixes. And I see a suffix. 
id or ed. Fourth, look for syllable types. The base word in the middle is the only syllable we have left, so we don't have to divide it. It has a vowel team with O and U together, so it's a double vowel or a vowel team syllable. Count. Now, let's scoop and read. Dis, count, id. Discounted. You're doing great. Let's keep going. First, find the vowels. Then, look for prefixes. This word has the prefix un. Third, look for suffixes. There's the suffix li, ly. Fourth, look for syllable types. We just have the base word and one syllable. It's a magic E or a vowel consonant E syllable, like. Lastly, scoop and read. Unlikely, unlikely. Do you remember what we do first? Find the vowels, then what? Look for the prefixes. This word has a two syllable prefix, inter. What do we do next? Look for suffixes. This word has ing. Fourth, we look for syllable types. We only have est left, which is a closed syllable, est. Let's scoop and read. In, ter, est, ing. Interesting. One more. Find the vowels. Look for prefixes. Nope. And there's no suffixes. Then find the syllable types. We divide between the two consonants. So we have vol, a closed syllable. Then we have to decide where to divide the second syllable. There's just an N there between the A and the O. Hmm, we can do can, O, or K, no. K, no sounds right. Now let's scoop and read. Vol, cane, o, volcano. To finish up, I'm gonna show you a word. If you don't know it, stop and pause the video and go through the five steps. Then scoop and read with me as we read each syllable. Straw, bear, read. Strawberry. See if you can figure out this next word. Unfairness. Unfairness. How about this word? F fort less. Effortless. High bur nate. Hibernate. One more. Can you do this one? Fantastic. You did fantastic. Remember the five steps when you come across longer multisyllable words that you don't know, and soon you might even be reading words like this.